Jeff. Okay, let's try it now. Okay, so I'm going to start over completely. So we have this new vintage Christmas sampler cross stitch designed by Lori Holt. It fits in a standard 11 by 14 inch frame, and so I stitched this. It took about three weeks. Um, and it has buttons attached. This is her oatmeal vintage cloth. Um, and I didn't put glass in it. She didn't want glass in it, but this is basically a standard 11 by 14 inch frame. We've got a link below to a similar one and the descriptions, um, but we did buttons. I'm gonna show you how you can attach buttons in a couple of weeks. The little buttons she used are her tiny, cute little buttons. They're actually a quarter inch, so they're smaller than her other, like if you have her jars. These are smaller and they work not only for her cross stitch, but also for her quilt blocks and her vintage Christmas book. And I have mine kind of stored in a little tin just because I thought it would be cute to show you guys how I store them. So she's got lots of colors um, and I just store them in a little tin so that I can carry them around when I'm stitching. So um, to make this, basically you don't have to buy anything else if you did Happy Farm Girl or if you did um, Farm Girl Fall. You don't have to buy anything else because she's using the same thread. The only thing that she added was um, 2420 for the Santa's uh, face, just for his little um, face. And we're gonna have more of that soon. Aurofill is very slow on filling their orders and I have been, I ordered it like two months ago and they haven't delivered it. Um, I will also have a pack of Aurofill that is just the ones you need, so it's cheaper. That hasn't come in yet. And the DMC floss set that I'm gonna have should be available in two to three days. We're also sold out of the oatmeal cross stitch, but it will be back online today. Um, I wanted to show you these are ornaments, and she did a video on how you can turn this into ornaments. The link is below. It just launched on YouTube today. So if you just wanted to make some ornaments, um, we have a video on that. It has, she has little custom pillows inside here. Thank you. Um, that are cute. And then the top of this is her small vintage trim in cloud. She's also done, this is a um, sharing jar, the large size. We have a link below. These are, she bought it at Walmart. Um, and so she just put this, put one in without the um, outside. Just different ideas on what you can do with the same pattern. And this is super cute. This is a four by four inch frame. And so Lori, I made the big one and Lori made all of these small ones. And just to show you, I just bought these frames. I bought this frame at Home Goods, and I bought this frame at Hobby Lobby. So um, there's nothing special to it. Uh, if you want a four by four, you can find them really anywhere. I will say square um, frames are really hard to find. So I've been just looking for four by four and three by three, and they will work with both the fall and the Christmas. Um, I think it's super cute. Um, again, this is the cover. And of course our patterns are colored. We have a guide for both RF Loss and DMC. So um, also, so I'll just now show you our Farm Girl Fall. This is Shelby's. And she used the burlap cloth, which is a little bit darker than the oatmeal. That's how hers is looking. Denise is using Daisy, which is white, and she's actually finishing it, so we don't have it this week. And this is Terry's. She used, I think, 16 or 18 count Ada. Super, super tiny. And these, this is, um, what are these called, Lily? Q-snaps. Q-snaps. So she has just a six by six inch Q-snap in here. And then this is how mine is looking. Um, and I've just changed a couple of colors, and I have a Q-snap that is 11 by 11. So, and that's how the back is looking. Um, so I'm just gonna stitch, and then we can talk about cross-stitch. So next week, what I'm going to be doing on next Wednesday's floss tube is, in her pattern, her Farm Girl Fall pattern right here, she has instructions on how you can turn the cross stitch into a pillow. So this is the front and this is the back and her pillows always have an envelope back. How you can turn this into a pillow. 
And so next week, I'm actually going to be turning Denise's cross stitch into a pillow. And I'm going to just, I'm not going to give you the sizes because it's all in your pattern, but I'm just going to walk you through how to turn it into a pillow and just show you live how you can turn it into a pillow. Um, what we're trying to do with this cross stitch, Lori and I, is just show you that you don't have to do it the same way. So like, this is a pillow, but I'm going to frame mine because my kids would destroy this. Um, this would be destroyed in two seconds. Um, and this is going to go on the wall at my house because it has glass and my kids will touch it. So um, I'm going to have to put this. I have a kid who like thinks it's funny. Like he watches all these videos. So hey, I know what you're doing. He watches all my videos at night. Um, but he knows what he's doing. He tries to mess with my stuff because he thinks it's funny. Um, yesterday he messed with, um, talking about technical difficulties, he messed with the resolution of my screen and I am like so illiterate on computers. <laughs> that I was just like, fix it. And he was just like, I don't know, I didn't do anything, da 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 da. So yeah, Kevin had to fix my computer when he came home because he he's just like all about jokes, but the jokes are funny until I can't fix them. Um, but yeah, what we're trying to do with the cross stitch is just show you, you know, when we've stitched, um, I've used different colors. Um, for example, Shelby did the little sunflower in pink and just, having fun and not feeling like everything has to be exact and all these Christmas these are all these different Christmas options that you can do you know you can make the full thing or you can make little um, side things and actually um, Lori's daughter Cassidy made the little cross stitches so she did all the cross stitches and then her mom turned them into little ornaments mm -hmm. um, and they're so cute and she used oatmeal uh, Laura was asking for the pillows. Where did Lori get the little pillows? She made them. So if you watch the video, they're four inch. They're, you can't find a four inch by four inch pillow. Actually, you can if you go to a jewelry store because jewelry stores use them to put their watches on the four by four inch pillow. So if you want to buy some, you can find them at um, jewelry um, just wholesalers because I was trying to find them for the store and they don't exist. But she actually makes them and she shows you in the video, um, the free video, how you make them. Um, and then we had a question on Instagram uh, asking, can you recommend an Aura Floss color to use a uh, darker skin tone for Santa? And we actually have the skin tone suggestions in the description of the video if they want to tune into Yeah, so, so the one that she used is 2420, but you can use any color. Um, we don't carry all of the Aura Floss, but if there's like a color that you like that we don't carry, all you have to do is email me and I'll stock it. Um, so yeah, the one she used was 2420. Um, I'm trying to think, you could, you could use the brown, which is 2330. And then she's got darker. And then in between that, I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure in between that what there would be. I don't have a color card here. Mm -hmm. Um, but Aura Phil has, I think, 336 colors, something like that. And they make all of the colors and all of their, um, all of their styles. So they make all 336 colors in 50 weight, 40 weight, 28 weight, Aura Floss. So any of them that I don't carry, all you have to do is email me and I'll stock it. Yeah, and we do have suggestions, I believe, uh, for different skin tones in the blog as well. Okay, good. And in the description. And the blog is going to go live today. I don't think it's live yet, but it is going live today. We're working on it right now. Uh, let's see. And then we also had another question. Um, Jessica was asking, is this live also on YouTube? Yes. So it will be saved on YouTube after we're done. And it'll be on Instagram for 24 hours. We will save it on our Fat Quarter Shop Facebook page and our Fat Quarter Shop Kimberly Stitch Squad. It will be on there. Uh, Joan says she's so excited to get her Black Friday order so she can start stitching with us. Oh, yay. Yeah, we when I was filling orders, or actually I was checking orders, I saw a lot of Farm Girl Fall purchased. Um, uh, Smitting Kitten is asking how your son is doing. He's doing good. We have his actual follow-up today at 3.45. I am, I will say I'm concerned. I don't think his hearing improved, which was our main concern. I don't think he can hear any better than he could 
ever. <laughs> so I, th he's doing fine, um, but we're going to see today if he can go back to karate because he hasn't really, he hasn't been back to karate um, in the three weeks. They have to release him, and then um, we're going to do a hearing test where they go in this like machine, and he hates it. And he's a pretty compliant kid, but he just, they put stuff in his ear, and he doesn't like his ears touched. So that's always fun. But I think that the results will be that his hearing is um, not improved. But um, we will see. I hope it is. But I, um, he can't hear me when I'm in the front of the car. Like this morning, he's like, Mom! You know, he can't, he can't hear anything. Um, but yeah, he's doing good. Uh, Kia B was asking, when will the kit be available? The kit. Okay, so the way that we do it is, um, we don't really have a kit. We just let you buy it um, by the item. So we have the pattern. We have the cloth, which should be back online today or tomorrow. We have floss. We're going to have this floss set. We're going to have a smaller RF floss set and a DMC floss set. DMC, of course, costs a lot less. We're just waiting for them to come in. They accidentally sent the wrong uh, ecru that goes here. They sent um, some color that doesn't match, and I'm not going to put that in your kits. Um, so we're going to have that in a couple of days. And then if you want the buttons, you just get them separately. So we have a page that has all of Lori's cross stitch on it that you can just piecemeal it. We like to do that because, like I said, with options, um, I think it's easier to kit a quilt kit because it's fabric. But with, you know, some people want to use DMC. Some people want to use RF floss. So I, and some people, like I said, like this is burlap. So if you want to do a different cloth, and all of the, you know, cross stitch is not, I don't think it's expensive. Um, um, so we just kind of let you choose what, um, what you like. And also a lot of people already have the B Basics R Floss box because it was used in the fall. So those people only have to buy if they're out of orange or if they're out of brown or they're out of white. Um, they might, you might need, um, for the, on this one, if you're using DMC, no, sorry, if you're using RF floss, you do need two spools of the white, which is 2311. So you'll want to get that. Um, you'll want to get more of those. And then the DMC, you use two skeins of the red and four skeins of the white. Um, and we're going to have all that in little packages as soon as the thread comes. Right. Uh, let's see if we have any questions on Instagram. I know a few people were asking about um, the quilt behind you. Oh, the quilt behind me is in on the cover of I Love Nine Patches, I believe. And I designed it and I sewed it and I actually sewed it with Lori. Um, and she thought I was crazy because I was like super, I was like, I have all the fabrics in the same exact spot everywhere just because I'm so OCD. And she was like, how can you do that? It should be scrappy. But I, um, I made that, I think, two or three summers ago. And I was in a hotel room with Lori. Um, so. Sorry, we had another question on Instagram uh, asking, are all of Lori Holt's videos going live today or just the cross? -stitch? No, just the cross stitch. Um, we like our videos to, um, to come out over time so that people actually, if we put them all out at one time, we feel like people don't watch them. And also, Lily has been working in the warehouse for uh, ever since Friday, um, filling mm -hmm. orders uh, for you guys because that is what we do at Fat Quarter Shop. When we have Black Friday, everyone who works here, including myself and Kevin, have to work in the warehouse a certain number of hours. So she couldn't have done them anyway. <laughs> um, that is my fault, but... Um, it was fun. That's just kind of part of, I think it's good for company culture because then people actually get to meet each other. And another thing is like, she knows like where things are in the, you know, where things are on the shelf. So if she needs something for a video, it kind of helps everybody, I think. Um, it also really made me appreciate everyone that works out there a lot more. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy, um, it's not an easy job. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also with the YouTube, just we don't like to like bombard you guys with like a million videos in one day. Like, who has time to watch that many videos? Yeah. Um, let's see. So yeah, I just, I'm on the little pinwheel and I'm doing pink, aqua, and then I'm going to do a light green 
and a hot, and I'm gonna do the same pink on the inside as I did on the outside. Um, just to show you the difference, this is Lori's. And I think it's fun to just uh, have fun with it. Do the colors that match your house. Um, and then Janet was asking, do we need to separate the strands of aurofil thread like we do DMC for us? I have not ever done that, and I have had fine luck. Um, Basically, when it gets kind of tangled, I just do this kind of business and just kind of straighten it. I'm sure it's probably, um, it might work better, but I haven't had any problem at all with the RF loss. Um, I've enjoyed working with it. It's been, I like that. I don't have to separate floss that I can just cut it right off the um, spool. And I will say it took me a little bit of a while. It took me a little while to get used to it just because the fabric or the thread is thicker. The holes are wider apart. So, um, I want everything to lay flat and I just kind of got used to, and it took me a while at first to thread the needle. Um, I just, just think it's just one of those things that you kind of just get used to. But yeah, it's been really fun doing this. Um, adding something different to our store. I think it's um, got a different look. You know, I go to cross-stitch stores when I go to Salt Lake City, when I go to San Antonio. There isn't one in Austin, but um, I feel like everything there is so hard. And it's pretty and everything, but it's just like, I don't know, at this stage of my life, I, I don't want to do anything that hard. <laughs> and I can't see to begin with. Like, I wear bifocals, and I cannot see to save my life. So... Um, I really like this because I think it's pretty, I think it's cute, I think it fits um, lots of styles, lots of, um, lots of people's homes. All right, um, Sharon said uh, she feels like she's so behind on the cross stitch because she went to the Outer Banks for Thanksgiving and now she's decorating. Oh, I think it's totally fine. Like, I, um, also with, like, I feel like with quilts, I have to hurry because, well, usually it's for a book, but I have to hurry. I have to get it all stitched. First, I have to starch it. Then I have to sew it. Then I have to get it all assembled. Then I got to take it to the quilter. Then I got to get it back. Then I got to get it bound. I like cross stitch because when you're done, you're done. Like, I mean, unless you put it into a little pillow or something, I just take it to a framer and I don't have to worry about it so and I like it that you can just put it in a little bag and when I go pick up Emma on Mondays I have to drive her to dance and I have to sit in this carpool for like an hour because um, she has to get there really quick so um, I will just sit and cross stitch I mean it's something I can take with me I have never been able to do embroidery I am not good at it and I think that if I'm not good at something, I don't really do it. Uh, so it's something that I can just pick up and go. Yeah, and we've also got all the videos from the previous weeks of this on our YouTube if they want to go back and follow you. <coughs> yeah, and I, um, I, I will say last night I got a cross-stitch magazine that I subscribed to. And I thought one thing that they did that was really neat was on the projects in the catalog, on, in the little magazine, it said, this one takes 55 hours, this one takes 35 hours, this one takes, um, you know, however many hours. And I thought that was really cool. So I was like, well, do they, are they calculating it by number of stitches or did somebody time themselves or how did they come up with that number? So I think that's actually really fun, and I we're doing another cross stitch after this, and I will be starting that cross stitch secretly in a week or two. It is in the design uh, phase. I'm not going to say too much about it, but um, once I started, I was thinking about trying to figure out, like, well, actually, probably Lily would have to figure it out because I'm such a dingbat, like some kind of stopwatch on my phone that I could keep up, like I could keep doing and like I could do it one day and then the next day and the next day and it would keep track of how many hours. Um, I think that would be really cool to know how long it took to, because then I could tell y'all, hey, this takes about this time. Mm -hmm. 
um, I think that was I thought that was a really cool thing I don't think that would be possible with quilting because everybody does it differently I don't think that would be but I think cross stitch is pretty standard mm -hmm. so um, and it goes pretty fast I did these two while I was just sitting here talking to you guys um, and you'll see that basically in each of these I'm starting and stopping and I'm not carrying my thread over I do like my backs to be really clean um, but it really doesn't matter I think you should do whatever works for you like nobody's gonna see the back but you so I just carry the thread under of course it's gonna knot right when I'm on the camera and um, I just carry it under look on the front make sure it's pulled nice it looks pretty on the front and I've carried it through just one little line and then I'm gonna clip it I like to use these little Omni grid scissors um, this is what I use for everything I literally own like probably 20 of them they go in every little bag because I have lots of cross stitch going on I have a lot of cross stitch that I do that y'all never see um, I, I have shown you some of the stuff I've done but I um, I uh, I like to have things in bags and there's some bags that I never finish that just sit there and then they have scissors in them and then I'm like oh that's where my scissors went um, sewing Becca was asking what size needle and brand do you recommend so I only use Bowen needles um, and I believe I use 24 or 26 I actually cannot remember but um, we will look that up and put a link below yes. because I actually don't remember if it's 24 or 26 but I like Bowen needles. Uh, Lori also has some needles called tapestry needles. They're um, Lori's nifty needles. So she has her, her needles also. I just happen to use Bowen. I have used that forever, oops, forever. And I actually have a design board here, which is used in quilting. And this is actually what I use. Um, I'll either use this or a little lap desk. And on the the one thing I have found is on these cross stitches I when I cross stitch I usually use the Loran magnetic board we sell it but you can get it at Michaels or Joann's or wherever and with this I've actually found I don't need it so it's actually been nice because I just kind of have this thing going I don't have to Smitting Kinnon was asking, does Kimberly tie off or just thread it through the sewing when finished with an area? So I just sew it through like four or five stitches, like right there, Lily, yeah. and then I just clip it. I do not knot it. I will say when I did the buttons, which I will show you guys, Lori did this one. And you can see one of the things that Lori did with the buttons is you see they're not all exactly the lines aren't all going the same way she has them all all over the place um, for cuteness and uh, I'm gonna show you how I do my buttons but I do use not when I do the buttons I do the loop method to start so basically next week what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna show you how you put this into a pillow the week after I'm gonna come up with some other cute ideas of I'm basically gonna go to Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna find cute stuff that is inexpensive that you can get at any Hobby Lobby Walmart Michaels anything and I'm just gonna show you how I put them in a frame because when I put it in a frame I usually um, one thing that you can do is and it's what I'm gonna show you is you can get a it's what you make these design boards out of I can't even think of what it's called but this material you get this material you cut it down you put a little bit of batting down, you put it around, you put some pins in. I mean, I have this whole thing of how I do it. So that's going to be in two weeks of how you can, instead of just putting it in a frame, you can, um, I don't actually know how Lori did it, but I have a way that I put it, I don't use the back, I don't use the cardboard in the uh, frame. I'm going to use something like this, and then I'm going to put it on, pin it, pull it to the back, and then put some masking tape um, on the back and so that's what I'm going to show you in two weeks and then after that we might do some ornaments or I'm not really sure and then at next year on January 2nd is going to be the release date for her next cross stitch um, but I am excited I will say I'm excited that I have the Christmas one done 
So it's funny that I have the Christmas one done, but I don't have the fall one done. <laughs> but this will be ready for next next fall, I guess. Um, and I do, I will say I love the buttons. I was nervous um, about doing them. It's so cute. But I was, you know, I was, I was very nervous. I had never put buttons on anything before. And I really wasn't really sure and I practiced on just like the outside or something extra I had I can't even remember what I practiced but I used the loop method so maybe in the in two two weeks from now when I show you how you put it in a frame I can show you how you can put the buttons on and I tried to use kind of the same buttons that Lori did so you can see I copied exactly what she did and since we have full color, um, you can really see how she, you know, I basically, I like everything to be authentically Lori's because she's the designer. I'm not the designer of any of this. I just sew for her and work for her. So I had her photo all of the ones that her daughter stitched and then she put the buttons on and then I made the buttons exactly the way that she did them. I was, a, I will be honest, I was a little bit off on my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree did not come out as perfectly as I would have liked. Um, I feel like something is off there, but I didn't want to pull it out. I mean, I I kind of felt like, oh, it'll just be like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So my tree is not as perfect as Lori's, but um, that's um, that was the hardest one. You know, when you just have one, like on the Santa, or this is super easy, but I copied the exact color that she did, the exact stitch, the exact everything so that when you guys are making it, it will be exactly like Lori's. And again, she, she made this so this fits in just a 12 by 14 inch frame. Her next one will also fit a frame, we think. Um, and so if you've got the Farm Girl Fall, all you really need to get is more of the white, some more oatmeal, and the pattern. And that's kind of what she's going to be doing is everything that she's going to be doing is this is going to be the base, which is the B Basics R Floss Box. And I actually keep my scissors in there. Um, but she's going to keep it so that you're not having to buy things over and over and over. You're not having to start over. And I have some, I don't think I have them with me, but I have run out of several. Um, but I don't just use her floss for this. I'm working on other stuff for Fat Quarter Shop. I have a really cute um, pattern that I found. And I took the pattern. I changed the cloth and the thread. And we're going to have kits for that. Um, so on that, because it's going to just be exactly what I made, I will have kits, but it is a pumpkin. So it probably wouldn't work for next year. So um, since it won't work for, I mean, it's going to work for next year. So I'm going to go ahead and have that framed and then we're going to kit that. But it's, I just finished it. And so what I'm saying is when I run out of stuff, it's not necessarily on her projects. I'm doing like all kinds of things. I actually have done four cross stitches in the last month or in the process. So let me know what else, what other questions you guys have. And then next week we will be working on the pillow. Um, so two questions that we got. Um, how many strands of DMC on 10 count fabric? So on the 10 count, Lori <laughs> recommends four. Um, you could do six. She felt like six was a little too thick because Aura Floss is, I guess, thinner. So with the Aura Floss, you use six, and with the DMC, you use two. All right, and then we've had lots of people say, like, wait, did you just say there's another Lori one coming out? Can you yeah. give us a hint? There is, and so uh, I guess the hint that I can give that is fair game, uh, I don't want to ever offend Lori, but we have a fall and we have a Christmas. So we have a theme going on with holidays. So that's all I will say. Yeah. And I'm gonna be stitching it. It is, um, I, she drew it on Monday. We colored it yesterday. We're gonna work on it again Friday. Tomorrow we're gonna be at a photo shoot for the summer moon block of the month, me and Lily and Sarah. <laughs> So um, we will have some photos from that that we'll be sharing on social media. But on Friday, we're going to be coloring the next cross stitch. And what needle size on 8 of 10? I don't remember um, if it's 24 or 26. So um, Lily, can you tell from previous videos? Mm, 
I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. It so it will be in the previous video. Yeah, yes. so so basically we will at the end of this video, we will um take take it and put it in the comments. So just look in the comments. I don't remember if it's 24 or 26. I do use this little needle holder thingy and what you should do if you were um had your stuff together is you would put on the cap size 24 or 26 but I was lazy and I did not have a what do you call that pen a permanent pen so I just didn't so yeah if I had done it I would know um, and also one thing that's cute about these buttons is like this little button bag you can you like in the next one I don't know if she has buttons in her next one but don't get rid of it because she's going to be using these again and again. Uh, Lori commented on Instagram saying 26 and then she put a heart emoji. 26? For the needles, I think. Oh, 26 is the size of needles. Yay, Lori, thanks. Um, and then last thing, I know some people were asking a lot of like quilty questions. Um, we are having a live stream on Friday. Yeah, so on Friday, Gina Tell is going to be doing a live stream at her house. I'm going to be there. She's going to have her Juki 2010 QL, which we can link. We can put an Amazon link below to the machine. Uh, she's going to show you how you can do beautiful free motion quilting on a home machine. And I will be there so I can answer questions, the other quilty questions that you guys have. Um, but she knows a lot. She does a long arm, but before she did the long arm, she does free motion. And I don't know anything about free motion quilting. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know. I have no patience. I, um, I don't really, I just, some people have that gift and that's not a gift that I have. So we're going to go to her house and we're going to let her show you all her stuff. So definitely if you have questions, Definitely bring the questions because she's the person that should answer them. Um, her company name is Thread Graffiti, and I think some of you guys in the Kimberly Stitch Squad have sent some quilts to her, which is great. Um, so I hope I hope that's worked out for all of you. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing this Friday, and then next Friday, I have something in the works, but I haven't figured it out yet. So we're going to make sure it works before I commit to saying I'm going to do it. Got a, got a few ideas. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's a, all the questions we got. Okay, so thanks for joining me this week on uh, this floss tube. I hope you love Lori's uh, new cross stitch. Um, pick it up today, and if you are a cross stitch store, it will be at um, Checker Distributing and United Notions, and Riley Blake will also have it if you would like to carry that in your store also. And if you have any questions, you know, just put them below and I'll answer them. Thanks.